Okay, welcome in. Uh, in this video, we are going to do some more simulations. That's the theme of this playlist. We're specifically going to simulate the Monty Hall problem, very famous problem in statistics. Um, you've probably heard of it. We're going to assume kind of knowledge of the problem when we when we do this, this simulation. Um, I think this is a cool example because um, there were a lot of a lot of disagreements and arguments over uh, the results of, of this problem, and many people disagreed with I forget the name of the woman that came up with the solution. Um, and there was like uproar and, and all this stuff. And the whole time, you know, if these nice st statistical packages like R were around, you could just simulate it, see for yourself if uh, she was right. And of course she, she was eventually right. It's a very unintuitive result, but um, very useful to just to check answers. So um, as always, we're gonna set the seed of zero, which means our results are reproducible. We're gonna do a thousand simulations. And for this, um, Sorry, I, I, I have some, I, ra I ran this before to make sure it worked. Um, we are going to define these vectors win switch and win stay. Um, and they're going to be vectors of zero vectors um, of length uh, 1000. And the idea is we're just gonna make these, um, we're gonna make the index, we're gonna run this simulation thousand times and we're gonna make the index one um, every time you win when you switch doors and you win when you stay in the door. So you'll see kind of what that means in a sec. So we're setting up our for loop for i in one and sim, so a thousand different loops. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to actually put the car behind a door. So we use our sample function, sample from one to three. We're going to sample one number. Um, in this case, the car goes behind door three. Um, and then we can, you know, sample our door. Um, let's say our door sample one, two, three, one. Um, and this, you know, maybe we picked door one. So here we didn't, we didn't get the door. We, we didn't get the car. We picked door one. Um, and then of course, kind of what happens first, we, we can do our win stay calculation. We're going to say the ith element of win stay is equal to one. And we want to say if car door equals our door, because by definition, you know, if we stay, we don't move after Monty opens the do other door and reels a goat. So we only win if the car door is equal to our door. Now for the more, the trickier part. Um, so we wanna like, we have to actually do the part about Monty opening another door to show a goat. However, you know, Monty may be restricted. Like if we um, didn't land on the car, the Monty will be restrict restricted as to which doors he can open. So we're gonna define Monty door as uh, the, the vector of doors from one to three, such that it's not the door that has the car behind it. And of course it's not our door. You can't open up our door. And in this case, Monty only has one choice. He can only open door two because the car is behind door three. We pick door one. He can't open the door to reveal the car. And uh, um, so he has to open door two. So there will, there will, there will, there, in this case, we're going to say like, you know, um, so, this, so, this, so we have, uh, oh, sorry, it's going on my microphone, but hopefully you can still hear me. Um, in this case, that's exactly fine. Monty opens door two. There will be cases where, you know, for example, if let's say, let's say we pick the car straight away. So our door equals three. And again, the car door is also three. In this case, Monty can either open door one or door, or door two. So, so if that, if that's the case, if, if uh, length of Monty door um, is greater than one, then we have to just pick one of those doors at random, which is what Monty will do. So Monty door equals sample, Monty door one. And I'll put these in curly brackets. You can see the code there. So in this case, you know, we we are just going to get one uh, value, and then we we check if um, if our switching uh, strategy worked. So uh, if uh, we switch to the wait, sorry, um, <laughs> let's mix this up. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so now, sorry, we have we have the Monty door, and now we have our door, and now our new door becomes the door that is not our original door, our door, and not the door that Monty opens. That becomes our new door. So in this case, we'd switch, we switch to door two. Great. Okay, and then we win if we switch if our door equals, uh, oh, I need this, if we switch, sorry, if our door equals car door win switch i equals one and we're going to run our code boom runs and moment of truth let's see if we stay you know we just win 33 percent of the time that that makes sense that you know that we have a one-third chance of getting it what about if we switch when switch i hope this works and it does boom we got uh 66 
almost exactly 66.6 percent of the time we won um when when we switched and and this kind of proved the result of the monty hall problem not proved it but you know gave us gave us some uh intuition behind it which is which is really neat um so i i think this is very useful it's cool to try for yourself and like some cool it's very generalizable right like let's say instead of three doors we want 100 doors um so i'm going to replace all of these i'm going to define my doors up here as 100 and i'm going to here replace all my threes this is a cool trick you hit command f you hit three and then you just want to enter doors replace all all replaced and now um oh actually this might so good uh good idea uh but this actually i realized this might not work we have to uh we have to do a couple of other uh uh adjustments to the code so ignore that but the the point let's just do three doors and run that again and okay something something's strange i i did not but just going back to our original code this yeah that's fine so maybe for another video <laughs> i'll talk about more generalizable code but a uh, just pretty cool example of how you can very quickly simulate and you can write this code more efficiently if you like but you can check a very uh, old and cool result um, and that's why simulation is so powerful so we'll see you next time